Hey there, and welcome to Rockwell, Texas Living, the web's biggest blog on the smallest county in Texas. I'm your host, Evan Madison. And I'm your co-host, Richard Madison. Well, if you've been following us, and I hope that you have, uh, we're doing a little mini-series mini uh, that talks about location, condition, and price, um, and how those are three most important factors in your home's value. Um, and previously we did location, and today we're on condition. So let's uh, dive in. Yeah, well, condition, the second element that affects value, uh, is a little bit changeable. You know, you can take a house that's uh, maybe got needs a paint job or inside or outside. You can put some bushes around it. You can change what the house looks like just a little bit. And so this is kind of an adjustment. Location, not too many things you can do about that. In fact, there's not any. But when you come to condition, there becomes the opportunity to adjust. And that means putting a little bit of effort and money into the right kind of things for condition to be better. Yeah, and what you're going to see through this whole series from the previous one, this one, and the next one that we're going to be doing on price is you're going to see a transition from fixed something that you can't do anything about to today yeah. where you have some moderate change that you can make, and then price uh, where you have basically ultimate control over what you can do. So um, diving a little further into condition, um, let's talk about uh, permanent versus temporary change. I know we, we mentioned it just a little bit um, in the one, two, two, two series ago. So. Yeah, so uh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Put him on the spot. So permanent, um, permanent condition, that's going to be something more like if you're installing landscaping, if you're, in, you're going to repaint a room, you're going yeah. to retile a floor, um, those are things that have more permanence to them. Uh, a temporary condition is going to be like moving furniture around or um, cleaning the house or, or a room or, or whatever, or organizing. Right. So those are things that are pretty easy, readable, ready, read, how do you say that word? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something that's easy to do um, versus, you know, a paint job and Plans. Yeah, but you know what's interesting about condition is that you can have an older home, maybe a 20-year home, older home, and uh, it can just look great inside. And then somebody can live in a house that's brand new for three years, yes. and the condition is destroyed. Yes. So very, very important when you're talking about the inside of a home and you're preparing it to put it on the market to sell is that it be spruced up, and that can be some uh, temporary things like cleaning and also be some permanent things like uh, Evan was talking about. Yeah, and in talking about some of those permanent things, upgrades, that becomes a question that we get a lot from our clients. Um, you're going to see most of your money in the Texas market, uh, you're going to get most of your money back on um, bathrooms and kitchens. Um, but in this market, you still don't necessarily get 100% back. Now, if we look at those and then we say, okay, well, what if I paint a room and I put on new doorknobs or something like that, you're probably not going to see any kind of value that's associated with that. And what that brings us to is to talk about the um, value added mm -hmm. versus sellability. Right. And so some of the conditional changes that you can do um, are going to actually add value. The biggest, obviously, is adding square footage to a house um, or those that are in the changing the bathrooms or the kitchens. Um, but adding sellability, like painting a room, like if you repaint an entire house because it needed it, and then you had that house, and then you have the one next door, say it's the exact same floor plan, same size, everything, but it hasn't been painted in 10 years. A buyer comes in and looks at those two and says, okay, same price, same size, whatever. I'm going to go with this one because it's, it's fresh, basically. And so they're not, this house is not necessarily going to get any extra money for it, Right. But theirs is going to sell before this one does. So that's sellability versus a value-added uh, uh, conditional change like adding square footage or a major right. upgrade. Every buyer wants a new house, okay? Sure. And if you're cleaning it up and sprucing it up inside and out, it's going to look a lot better. And that's the whole idea with condition. You want to eliminate the negative to the eye. And uh, when you do that, then they think better about buying it. Yeah you're hopefully going to be the next one that gets an offer. But we're learning a little bit more about Rockwell, Texas and real estate together every day. We'll see you next time as we finish up this mini-series.